Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss on evaluation techniques. The outcome for today learning is understand evaluation techniques for evaluating interactive system. Evaluate the design by user participation. A. Laboratory studies, field studies, observational techniques, query techniques, and empirical methods using experimental evaluation. The styles of evaluations are laboratory studies and field studies. Laboratory studies. The advantages. Specialist equipment available. Uninterrupted environment. However, the disadvantages are lack of context and difficult to observe several users cooperating. For field studies, the advantages are it is natural environment. The context retained through observations may alter it and longitudinal, longitudinal studies possible. However, the disadvantages are distractions and noise. What about observational techniques? A popular way to gather information about actual use of a system is to observe users interacting with it. Usually, they are asked to complete a set of predetermined tasks, although if observation is being carried out in the user's place of work, they may be observed going about their normal duties. The evaluator watches and records the user's actions using a variety of techniques. There are two types, think aloud and cooperative evaluation. Think aloud. User observe performing tasks. User asks to describe what he is doing and why, what he thinks is happening, etc. Advantages, simplicity, requires little expertise, can provide useful insight, can show how system is actually used. This, the disadvantages are, it is subjective, selective, an act of describing may alter task performance. For cooperative evaluation, it is a variation on think aloud. User collab collaborates in evaluation. Both user and evaluator can ask each other questions throughout. The addi additional advantages, less constrained and easier to use, User is encouraged to criticize system. Clarification is possible. The record of an evaluation system, sorry, the record of an evaluation session of this type is known as protocol. There are three types of protocol. Protocol analysis, automated analysis, and post-task walkthroughs. Protocol analysis. It uses paper and pencil. It is cheap. However, it is limited to writing speed. Audio. It is good for thing aloud. However, it is difficult to match with other protocols. Video. It is accurate and realistic. However, it needs special equipment. Computer logging, it is automatic. User notebooks, it is good for longitudinal studies. It is mixed use in practice. Audio or video transcription, difficult and requires skills. Some automatic support tools are available. Automated Analysis. It is workplace project. 
post task walkthrough. User reacts on action after the event. User to use to fill in intention. The advantages analysis analysis has time to focus on relevant incidents. It is able to avoid unnecessary interruption or tasks. However, the disadvantages are it is lack of freshness. Finally, the post task walkthrough in observations. Transcripts played back to participants for comment. Useful to identify reasons for actions and alternatives considered. It is necessary in cases where thing allowed is not possible. For query techniques, we can use interviews or questionnaires. Interviews. Analyze requests user on one-to-one -one basis usually based on prepared questions. Informal, subjective, and rel relatively cheap. The advantages are can be varied to suit context. Issues can be explored more fully. Can produce user views and identify unexpected problems. The disadvantages are very subjective and time-consuming. Questionnaires is a set of fixed questions given to the Users. The, the, the advantages of questionnaire, it is quick and reaches large user group, can be analyzed more carefully. The disadvantages are less flexible and less searching. Questionnaires also need to be carefully designed. What information is required? How are answers to be analyzed? The styles of question. It can be general, open-ended, scala, multi-choice, or rank. Open-ended question. A closed-ended question contrasts with an open-ended question, which cannot be answered with a simple yes or no, or with a specific piece of information and which gives the person answering the question scope to give the information that seems to them to be appropriate. The examples of open-ended questions Tell me about your relationship with your supervisor. How do you see your future? Tell me about the children in this photograph. What is the purpose of government? Why did you choose that answer? Ranking scale. Ranking scales, often referred to as Likert scales, are very common on surveys or questionnaires. Basically, a statement is presented, then the student can respond on a scale that indicates how much or little they agree with that statement, as in shown in the figure below. The scales are from strongly disagree to strongly agree. Multiple choice is you if you have a specific questions with specific answer choices, the best approach might be to create a multiple choice survey. For example, which lesson? For example, which lesson did you find most relevant for your classroom? Basic concept, selected response assessments, constructed response assessment, performance assessment, classroom interaction, or attitude surveys. Rank order scaling. Rank order scaling questions allow a certain set of brands or products to be ranked based upon a specific attribute or characteristic. Perhaps we know that Toyota, Honda, Mazda and Ford are most likely to be purchased. You may request that the options to be ranked based upon a particular attribute. 
ties may or may not be allowed. If you allow ties, several options will have the same scores. Example, view this survey. And finally, to evaluate based on user perceptions is by experimental evaluation. Experimental evaluations, control evaluation or specific aspects of interactive behavior. Evaluator chooses hypotheses to be tested. A number of experimental conditions are considered which differ only in the value of some control variables. Changes in behavioral measures are attributed to different conditions. Experimental factors. Subjects. Who? Representative. Sufficient sample. Each participant performs under each different condition. Transfer of learning is possible less costly and less likely to suffer from user variation. Variables. An independent variable is the variable that is changed or controlled to test the effects on the dependent variable. A dependent variable is the variable being tested and measured. Hypothesis. What you'd like to show. Experimental design. How you are going to do it. The participants with actual user if possible. If not, must be similar age and level of education of intended user group. Statistical measures. Before start to do any experimental design, how you are going to do it. The participants. With actual user, if possible, if not, must be similar age and level of education of intended user group. Statistic, statistical measures. Before start to do any statics, you will need to look at the data and save original data. Example, you are studying the rate of growth plants using different fertilizers. Can you identify the variables? The independent variables will be the type of fertilizer. The dependent variable will be the rate of growth. This concludes for user participation in evaluation techniques. The first one is laboratory studies, field studies, observational techniques, query techniques, and empirical methods using experimental evaluations. These are all the techniques for evaluation, specifically to evaluate interactive user, the system, interactive system for the user.